up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install sound effects so that they show up in your sound effects tab in Final Cut Pro right there. But first, what I'm going to do is pick the winner of the GoPro giveaway. So to keep this fair, what I'm going to do is use this random comment picker and I haven't actually used it before but what I need to do is paste the URL into there and then it's just going to pick a winner from the comments at random. So let's do it right now. Let's copy this URL from the uh, giveaway and I'm just going to paste it in there. Click search. Okay, it's counting the comments. Who's it going to be? Okay. Click there. Will Chidlow. Yeah! You want it. I'll send you a message and I can organize sending it over to, you, over to you. So yeah, well done. Okay, so to install sound effects so that they show up in your sound effects tab over here, all you have to do is save it in your Final Cut Pro sound effects folder. And it's actually quite hard to find. So what I'm gonna do is open up Finder and I'm gonna go up here to Go and I'm going to go to Computer. And you wanna to go to your Macintosh HD and then go to Library, go to Audio, Apple Loops, Apple. Go down here to Final Cut Pro Sound Effects and this is where all of the sound effects are saved. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste my sound effects folder into here. So now I have my sound effects folder right there. It's got all of these sound effects in it. Now once I go back into Final Cut Pro and click on here on sound effects, I'm just going to search RN sound effects and there you go underneath the genre because I put it in a folder it's added that as a genre and then all of my transitions are here on the left. So now that they're in there it's really easy to find with the search bar and you don't have to import them as media into projects so it's just a really helpful tip once you start adding in a load of sound effects and stuff like that it's really good to just store them in there so that you can quickly search for them and use them in your projects. Down below there's a download link to some free sound effects so if you want to download those and use them to try and install them right now, then go ahead and download those. There's also a full pack of really cool sound effects that I've come up with that I've been using in all of my edits recently. And I've actually just updated them. So if you did get the sound effects before, then you can just re-download them and you'll get those new sound effects. And that's it, just a quick tip today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.